Yeah. Well, as you know, Task Force Southern was formed in June 2021 to investigate several deaths that occurred in the southern suburbs, in particular um, Jet Monday is the death that I'm going to talk about today. Um, the investigation has been going extremely well. Um, it's a complex, challenging, protracted investigation. It's been very resource intensive. We have had excellent cooperation from the criminal community, and from the community in general, and about 175 calls to crime stoppers today. During the course of the investigation, we've received um, credible information from a variety of sources, um, which has assisted the investigation. Um, Recently, we've um, received information which has suggested that Jeff's remains may be at the bottom of a pond reservoir near the beer. It's important to point out that they are unconfirmed reports, and we also have information from other sources that his body uh, may be associated with a body of water uh, in another location. So, the purpose of today is to conduct an underwater search of a section of a pond reservoir. expect that that search, if Jeff is there, and that is associated with his death, we will find him. Um, if he's not there, that will delay the investigation in that we will be able to coordinate this particular site and then focus on other locations. Um, the, the search will be very um, challenging for the divers. They'll be operating in 42 metres of water. significant silt build up at the bottom and they'll be feeling through the bottom um, of the dam um, feeling for his remains in what amounts to complete darkness. Um, they'll also have to go through um, deep depression as they rise to the surface so that's going to prolong the search. During the course of the investigation we've had 65 arrests to date, um, 12 reports for a variety of offences and a search 72 houses and recovered 40 firearms and there will be further arrests um, in the coming weeks. The advice that we've had is that if Jeff's remains are here, that they're at the base of the wall. Well, I hope so and I, I hope as well for, um, for Robert Evans. divers are searching for or there, could there be other uh, weapons or anything else? If Jeff's remains here we think it's likely there may be other evidence close to his body. And can you just walk us through, you said they go down to 42 metres each time. investigation and um, when we do the investigation sometimes we get information which will just be untrue and people start rumours um, sometimes it'll be true so you've really got to sit through what you get and as I say we've got information with respect to several locations clearly you can't get all of them um, but there's a possibility that one of them might be true so this is the one we're doing first and um, hopefully we'll find you um, if we don't we'll eliminate it and move on to it. Did the 
Lonsdale uh, breakthrough late last year lead you to dislocation, or was that pivotal in in coming to me? Uh, I won't won't go into detail as to specifically why we came here, but we have received specific information from people with respect to this location. The other thing I can tell you about Lonsdale uh, now is that we know that um, Jeff was taken to Lonsdale tomorrow road and this will be happening in the campaign. Team of seven, seven. divers, so um, two divers will be working in tandem. And some other significant information to be given to you about that, or how significant it is. Yeah, certainly, the, um, when we commenced the investigation, we also undertook to do a cold case review of a matter involving Mr. Um, King earlier on. Um, he was basically held. And those charges were discontinued. I can't talk a lot about it because it's obviously going to be before the courts. Um, but that would form part of evidence, um, perhaps in any future trial for this matter. And are you confident that it was just four people who were involved in that um, alleged incident? Yes. And in relation to that case, are there any other search for footage or um, The investigation of Robert Atkins has been continuing. Um, we are still um, trying to work out a more defined area where we can find him. Um, we have a reasonable indication as to where we think he might be, but not in such a small area that we can go and speak to him. We are hoping that um, the situation with Brian might change in the coming weeks. Well, good everyone. everybody. All good? How long will this take? And, and what, what do you expect to happen afterwards? If there is nothing? This, this search will take up to five days. Um, and as I said, if we um, find Jeff, which is what we all want, um, then we obviously won't search the other locations. If we don't find Jeff, then that will still advance the investigation because we'll now discount this investigation and pursue the search. Thanks everybody. Thank